Hello my friend, welcome to another adventure. Today I'm starting a trip up the coast of the Pacific. I can't wait to show you these views. I set to finish my coffee and we'll get going. Trying to find happiness. I often ask myself what that means. In a world filled with chaos, it's hard to stop and reflect on what truly brings you joy. What I've found is that happiness is a journey, not a destination. one we all struggle to navigate. It comes in waves like that of the ocean. It's the sun kissing the distant horizon. And it's what I find when I'm on the shore, surrounded by trees or staring up into the stars. It's the simple things we lose sight of and take for granted. A sense of peace that you're unexpectedly handed Happiness is within reach. Happiness is yours. Good morning. Welcome to my camp spot. If you watch my videos, you know I don't usually prefer campgrounds, but sometimes it's necessary. Especially off season, that's my favorite time to go because there's way less people. Do you see this? It's a completely empty campground. So you can take a nice hot long shower, recoup supplies from the store, fill up on water, do that kind of thing. All the necessities that you can't do out in the middle of nowhere. And then hopefully tonight when I head into the mountains, I can find a more off-grid remote dispersed camping spot. As you travel up the Pacific coast, there are so many beautiful spots right on the side of the road that you just want to pull off and camp at, but there are signs everywhere that say no camping, no RVs. So yeah, I sometimes consider conveniently falling asleep and taking a nap since there's no, no napping signs. However, I try to avoid getting in trouble. I don't want to break any rules. So if it says no camping, I try to respect that and I don't camp there. And it doesn't matter anyways, because all those cliff sides, as beautiful as they are, are just one small earthquake away from falling into the ocean. So it's probably better to just sleep soundly right here on solid ground. <laughs> and for that, I'm grateful. This 100 year old boat is stuck decaying through time. You wonder how it got there. Maybe the captain, many decades ago, ran it ashore, and instead of being upset, he found happiness in the beauty that surrounded him. He built a small cabin nearby and decided he'd reached his final destination. Remember that when one door closes, another door opens. Instead of focusing on the negative, try finding the new door. Everyone's idea of happiness is different. These animals are fascinating. They're massive and live on both land and sea. I was able to lock eyes with one and it felt as if they could see right into my soul. I wonder if their idea of happiness is simply sunbathing in the sand. Well, I'm heading further up the coast today. I can't wait to see what I can find. I'm gonna stop and get some fresh seafood because I usually cook in my truck camper, but I'm not gonna miss out on some fresh fish or shrimp. Check out these amazing views behind me. It's so pretty out. There's numerous rock formations along the coast. This is Goat Rock. Over the years, the ocean waves eroded it until a flat grassy knoll came to be, and now it sits 100 feet above the sea. Stories read that back in the early 20th century, it served as a pasture for goats. Look at this teepee right here. I think I'm gonna make myself at home and go right inside. Check it out. Welcome in. Hannah's teepee on the beach. 
the only beachfront property I could get pre-approved for. This is the living room, kitchen, dining room, and bathroom. Isn't it spacious? And check out the view. <gasps> Perfect. This thing's pretty cool. Each mile I go further, I find another incredible beach spot and no one here. I've never seen this much privacy on a beach in my life. Each one is so beautiful. Just clear white sand, beautiful blue water. The coastline is made up of steep cliffs and arches, but also caves. This is the only one I found that I could access on foot. It was in a beautiful cove, and had I been allowed to camp there, I would have. Sometimes you just have to stop, open the back up, and check out the view. I figure now is a good time to have a quick bite for lunch and to take a minute to thank today's sponsor, Policy Genius. Thanks to Policy Genius for sponsoring this video. Before I ever started making videos, I actually used Policy Genius to get a life insurance policy for myself because they were so easy and straightforward to use. When I first came out of school, I had a ton of student loans and my parents co-signed for them. If anything were to happen to me, I never wanted to leave a huge burden on them. So I decided a life insurance policy was probably a good idea. Policy Genius is your one-stop shop for finding and buying the insurance that you need. Getting started is incredibly easy. You can click the link in the description or head to policygenius.com slash drhanna and answer a few questions about yourself to get started. In minutes, you can compare personalized quotes from top companies to find the lowest price and coverage that you need. You could save 50% or more on life insurance by comparing quotes with Policy Genius. And if you're confused, their team of licensed experts will help you understand your options and help you apply for the right policy. When you're ready to apply, their team will handle the paperwork and the scheduling, all for free. So head to policygenius.com slash drhanna to get your free life insurance quotes and see how much you could save. I did it myself. It was simple, easy, and I have no regrets. And now it's time for lunch. What do you think we're having? Who? We're having? sauteed shrimp and quinoa salad. I thought since I was on the coast, it was the perfect time to get some fresh seafood. And while shrimp might not be the healthiest seafood option, it's my favorite, not gonna lie, not ashamed. I love shrimp and just about everything. And the quinoa salad, it sounds a little weird, but it tastes so good, you have to trust me. It's got quinoa, red peppers, cilantro, green onions, pine nuts, some lemon juice, salt and pepper, and some apple cider vinegar for the acid. And Quinoa is actually a seed, but I use it in place of brown rice a lot or mixed along with brown rice. And it's a complete protein, which means it has all nine essential amino acids. It's high in fiber and protein. It has less carbs and more antioxidants than rice. And it's so easy. You just throw all the ingredients together, put it in the fridge. It's good for a couple days. You can pull it out whenever you're hungry and it doesn't bog me down or make me feel sluggish after I eat it. So you got to try it. Don't knock it till you try it. But enough of that. Let's get started so we can get back out there. First things first. Hi! Nifty dish. Put that there. My dun 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 Old Bay. I use avocado oil. I love my garlic. Let's go and add an un. Do some of the shrimp. Let these cook up a little bit. Now we're gonna add some Old Bay. Since I love Old Bay. Mmm, looks delicious. And here, it's the quinoa salad I mixed together the other day. Looks good. Quinoa salad looking on point sauteed shrimp protein and vegetables okay i'm ready let's get back out there one of the things i loved most were all the beautiful hidden paths i found this one was lined with old trees dating back to the 1800s it was part of an old fortress on the coast the path led down to a beautiful field of flowers and another hidden path led right down to the shore 
Then I stopped and meditated in a beautiful sanctuary I passed with architecture that was so unique that I had to stop and admire. A lighthouse, a symbol of hope, a beacon of light that helps guide us for safe passage, and to me, a reminder that if you're struggling to find happiness, not to be discouraged. As a child, my parents would always say, happiness is an inside job, and I never really understood what that meant. Yes, some of us are more inclined physiologically than others to be happier, but it's still something we all should be conscious of. And here, surrounded by Mother Nature's beautiful features, is where I find the most peace and serenity. I found a restaurant overlooking a beautiful point break. What did I get? Yep, the shrimp tacos. You know I had to. They were delicious, but mine were a very close second. But maybe only because of the sunset. I finally found a campground right on the cliffs. Another empty one at that. I popped up my camper and savored a hot cup of coffee at dusk. I grabbed some firewood and started a campfire. But that, my friend, is for next week. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.